celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, let us feel your compassion more readily during these days, when by your gift we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> the angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a, cart, a court official of the Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, Go and join up with that chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, Do you understand what you are reading? He replied, How can I, unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter. And as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is this prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaims Jesus to him. <clears throat> As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. 
What is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop. And Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azotus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Our response is, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls, and he has not let our feet slip. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on top of the tip of my tongue. Let all, Let all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God who refuses me, not my prayer or his kindness. Let, Let all the earth, earth cry out to God with joy. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give <clears throat> is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, as we've been hearing throughout this week, starting with Sunday and throughout the various readings from sacred scripture these past weekdays, of the importance of, number one, coming to know better and study more deeply the scriptures, the sacred scriptures, and we're reminded of that again in that first reading from the Acts of the Apostle, when Philip happened upon, as it's called here, this eunuch in a caravan, who became curious about the scriptures and the prophecies of, of, of Jesus, and so asked to have Philip explain them to him so that he could come to know them and, and understand them better. And that interaction occurred, that instruction occurred, and it ended with the eunuch seeking, asking for, and receiving baptism, becoming one of the membership of the Christian community and followers of Jesus. And Jesus himself reminds us again in this gospel passage that Whoever believes in me, again, we've been hearing that word 
believe, believe throughout all the scriptures this week. Whoever believes in me has eternal life. And that is the condition of enjoying the promise made to us in Jesus' resurrection, life everlasting beyond this earthly life, that we believe in him. And the way that we come to even more deeply believe in him is to seek to understand and study more and more intently the sacred scriptures. So let us seek an opportunity, as I said in the past, in these quiet days or days of isolation or days when our routine is different, let us seek to find opportunities to do just that, to study, read more intently and understand better the sacred scriptures so that our belief in Jesus can be even more deep and substantial in continuing to follow him in this life. God bless you. Even on this Easter weekday, the church celebrates today the memorial feast of Pope St. Pius V, and so we call upon the intercession of Pope St. Pius as we pray the prayers for this Mass, which I celebrate for all of your intentions joining us from home. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, <clears throat> for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim 
Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, yes, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, Pope St. Pius V, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For you now at home the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as already already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. Thanks be to God. You are the one. 
trust you, I feel you.